Good morning, it's Paul here from Rio Driving School. Um, if you're looking for driving lessons, preparing yourself for a driving test, or even training to become a driving instructor, then yes, you've definitely found the right place. Today in the car, I've got a very ill patient. Um, Matthew um, has requested another mock test tune-up video. His test is very, very soon. I'm not gonna tell you exactly when it is. But it's going to be very interesting this morning because we've probably got the illest person I've had in the car for a long time. He can barely stand up. Um, but this is the real world and we've got to make sure that the people that we send to the driving test can drive whether they're feeling good, whether they've got a headache, whether they're feeling flued up. Because you imagine you're at work or you've... Um, you've just had a bad day somewhere with a pounding headache you've got to be able to get yourself home safe so how are you feeling this morning Matthew what have you got what are you sharing with us feeling a bit better than what I did earlier in the week but it's uh, I think I'm getting over it a little bit but yeah it's like, like I said to your chat I knew something like this was going to happen coming up to me driving test I knew it well it's sod's law isn't it you know you're trying to keep yourself in good condition ready for uh, ready for an important day and you're starting to feel under the weather uh, you took some time off work didn't you as well because you're uh, it's really got to you. your chest's bad um, it was affecting uh, me as well and I think it's just doing the rounds everywhere so uh, anyway You've got to do your best. Yeah. You've got to be able to focus and just try to, uh, you know, e e even if we've got a bad version of you, it should still be strong enough to pass a driving test. And that's what makes this uh, more interesting this morning mm -hmm. because it'll either go really, really well or it'll be horrendous and I'll, we don't know yet what's going to happen. So uh, let's find out, shall we? Do you want a real test or do you want something horrendous that I'm going to pull out of the bag? You you know what my skills are like, so yeah. I, I want I want you to do what you think is best and what well, you think will help. Yeah, I want to do everything fair and unfair to try and trip you over. Okay. Um, I want to expose any remaining weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Bear in mind, we do drive in the dark as well, which makes things very very difficult because some of the road yeah. surfaces are poor and we can't see those road landmarks. Markings as well. There's a lot in Featherston where the road markings are worn away and you can see them in the day but of, of an evening it's quite hard to see yeah especially speed bumps I've, I've, I've come across a few or bounced across a few yeah um, <clears throat> a lot's riding on this isn't it because it, it is I mean I mean this this piece of paper that you're trying to get this driving test certificate it's it's going to markedly change your life in a big way isn't it yeah, and, and so uh, yeah we want to get it right so i um, try to hold on to your emotions if things aren't quite the way you want them to be I, I guarantee this will be a lot worse than what you're gonna have to deal with on your test all right um, but let's see let's see what happens shall we let's see. All right, I'm going to do my best to uh, throw as many spanners in the way as I can and try not to, uh, try not to trip over them, all right? I'll try my best. All right, so yeah, simple rules. Follow the road ahead unless something is said. Okay. All right, so make your way to the edge of the road, turn left, and then I'll tell you where to go from there, all right? Cool. Turning off the lights now, and uh, we'll uh, see you later as the sun decides to make an appearance. <coughs> this this illness 
horse, whatever the hell it is. Drive on when you're ready. commentary if you would want to just to let examiners know what your thinking is gives you a little job to do and you know, keep keeps you calm I've heard one good one what's that um, announcing when you're actually using the mirrors oh okay. sometimes say for example you're glancing at them rather than actually moving your head yeah they may put you down as as not checking your mirrors when you might have actually done It's a, I, I think it's a good thing to do. Uh, you know, better than just saying mirrors. Uh, I'd say I'm just slowing down a little bit because of that band that's behind me now. Is it a little bit too close? Yeah. You know. Stops them wondering what you're doing. When you get round this bend here, there's a roundabout, and I want you to turn left at the roundabout, please. Traffic lights turn right. about 
these vehicles going past you. Allowed to carry on. I think they're exceeding the speed limit to do that. I would say so. When I was overtaking me just I was doing about 36, 37. Yeah. When you get to the roundabout, I want you to turn right, please. Side post at Featherstone. Thank 
key. You can drive on when you're ready. Yeah, the truck wasn't slowing down and I knew he wasn't slowing down either, that was close. He had to swerve out the way. I've never been in that situation before there, where the light goes to red whilst I'm still waiting to turn. It's quite common. And yes, you've got to clear the junction. that left mirror before you came back into this left lane here. I did. That's your problem. Yeah, I what? don't know what I should have been in the left lane really. I don't know why I went to Do you see where you can you see that where that car is in front there? Yeah. Where that one is. See what he's doing now, that white one? Yeah. You could have done that and then come back. It's interesting that is, isn't it? Because you we have been in that roundabout a number of times, but this could just be well, you tell me. I don't know because I, I don't know why I went into the right lane because I always go into the left lane. Yeah. I, don't, I really don't know why I did it. Well, that's me. I, I'm always making these little mistakes that I hardly ever make. But it's things like that that can cost you a test. Yeah. But it needn't. I mean, if you're in that right hand lane and you think, oh my goodness. Don't panic, just stay where you are, follow the road ahead, check that left mirror out, back across when it's safe. It's only it's only doing doing the left lane in parallel with the right lane. 
he know what to do. Remember, take the learnings, don't let it grind you up. behind this car by the wheelie bin that's it just get nice and close don't worry about the dropped curbs but get nice and close a little bit more that'll do thank you that's perfect now take a breath and then when you're ready drive away <coughs> take it as a rock after <laughs> yeah don't, just when you're ready you can drive away Drive 
when you're ready. That's the first time I've stalled in quite a long time. Okay, time for manoeuvre. <coughs> okay. You know what I want to see. Parallel park. Yes, please. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, when, when you're ready. <coughs> well, the cops are coming now. I just wasn't 100% happy, but I'm, I know it was okay, but I'm, you know, you know what I'm like. Well, you you turned uh, the menu. I mean, you've, you've you've made it lovely now. It's a lovely finish, but you do get a point. You get one normal driving fault, don't you? If yeah. You've got to correct it. Yeah, yeah. When I didn't have to. <clears throat> yeah. Well. Which I don't. No, it's fine. <coughs> it's fine. I, you know. <coughs> We're playing, we're playing a game to win, aren't we? And uh, uh, there's nothing wrong, really, with, with making it better. Uh, but they'll, they will. It's worth always noting that they will mark that under control because you shouldn't have had to do that in the first place. If you were doing it, didn't have to. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But don't worry about it. So I'm not worrying about it. If I pick up a normal driving fault just because I have to sort of correct. Me parking even because if it well, 
even if I think it's okay, I'm probably going to correct it anyway. But if that means picking up one drive in full time, I'll go with that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because I know the chances of me racking up 15 faults is extremely slim. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to fail, it's going to be because of a silly mistake that's caused a serious. Yes. Um, <coughs> Good. We'll drive on when you're ready. It was a really nice job, particularly because of the incline. Yeah, and when I started to turn into the space, I realised how close the front wheels were to the kerb on the right hand side. Yeah, it did a very good job. How did you manage to deal with it then? I the just start, the started turning as stop they stopped turning as well, sorry. We're turning right at the end of the road. Yeah, I always tell my pupils to think in terms of one complete turn on the steering wheel rather than locking up the steering. Yeah. For, for purely that reason, you don't want to go hit the curb. All right, the last uh, quarter of the test then, all right? Yeah. So at the end of the road, turn left, please. Today. Yeah, this one just very close to the one I saw. <coughs> well, you can't do enough research, can you really? I'm saying that, that they all tend to just overlap and have a lot of the same parts, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do.
haven't been down this road many times coming from this way. Oh, well, I don't know about that. A roundabout turn right, please. Well, they will because uh, we have to give priority to them. The sign yeah. says so. Did you see the sign?
the end of the road, turn left. Give me your thoughts, give me your feedback. <coughs> Dreadful. Dreadful? What, the way you feel? Um, it, when all right, I just made a couple of mistakes and we, I, I always know when I've made a mistake because I say it, I, I say what I've done. Tell me about these mistakes. Um, changing gear whilst going around the corner. Okay, so what could you have done differently? Not changed gear. Okay. So just delay changing that gear a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah. Would it have mattered? Did you need to get the car gone quick? Is there something coming towards you? Not really, but I don't like the car screaming. Okay, I don't like it screaming. Don't go as fast. No, I just need to go and slow, and I feel... If, sometimes I feel as though I'm just going too, uh, too slow. If you bring the car forward, so long as you're not having to actually turn the wheel, you can take a gear. What do I mean about that? Let's say I'm pulling forward out of here. I'd bring the car forward in first gear. With my left hand, I'd pull it down halfway. I'd turn that wheel upside down. And then I'd go for second gear before I've even got around that corner. As long as the wheels are not actually moving, you can take oh, gears. Oh, I'd have been all right then. Because <coughs> the steering wheel was like that and then when I was changing gear. Right. I didn't actually move the wheel once okay. to change the gear. So, so that's fine. Right. That's absolutely okay. fine. Yeah. Because I, I could... know obviously if you if you go into a roundabout, as you turn on like that, you can change a gear yes. then and then carry on there. Yeah. Your... So okay. there you go, not a fault. Right, okay. What was the other one? Um. Was there another series? I don't feel as though... There was only one was. serious, and that was the... What you did at the roundabout. Yes. Which, like I said, I've never done that before, which is why it's so annoying. So because I've, I've, I've done that so many times, and I've always gone in the left-hand lane. And I was in the right-hand lane, and I was like, why am I, why am I in the right-hand lane? So you knew at the time, hang on a minute, I'm in the right-hand lane here. I just... I, the, I didn't give my brain time to compute and correct it. Okay. I know what I should have done. I'll sh instead of just from that right hand lane and then just going straight into the left hand lane on the roundabout I should have just carried on into the middle of the roundabout so the right lane yeah and then indicated into that other into the left hand lane sure it wouldn't have mattered so long as you checked your left door mirror and there was nobody there anyway nobody there anyway but you didn't know that yeah. and that's what makes that fault serious if you'd have looked and go, oh, I'm going to move over there. Shouldn't even be in this lane. Actually, in point of fact, you can be in that right-hand lane. The sign specifically says use either lane, lane one or lane two, to follow the road ahead towards Wolverhampton. I was going to say, because either, either of them lanes you can... Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. The, the, so the really only, yeah. the only problem was when you decided to change lanes, which wasn't necessary, technically speaking, 
we didn't check we always have to ask ourselves when we look in the mirrors is it safe yeah. and, it, and then do it um, so we will work on that what we'll do is we'll approach some roundabouts using the other lane to follow the road ahead in case your mind slips hmm. and you need to know how to do that or just remember it's absolutely okay to do that as yeah. long as we do it safely that's all these examiners want to see an examiner at the, when you went into the right hand lane he'd be thinking or she'd be thinking okay well, that's a bit unusual perhaps i normally expect them to use the left lane but it's okay nothing wrong with that hmm. let's see what he does and then i'm watching closely and you sort of realize hang on a minute i want to be in that left lane and then you moved across without checking that's the problem yeah that was it. That was it. I knew the mistake as soon as I met it. Yeah. Yeah. I knew the mistake when I was going up to the roundabout in the right hand lane. I was like, why am I doing that? You can. <coughs> you can. We'll practice doing it in the right hand lane today. We'll practice doing it. Nothing wrong with that. Just when you are changing lanes, you check. Hmm. You don't cross the road without looking over, over both ways before you step out, do you? the same reason you've just got to know what's going on and that's it yes you're going to be fine as long as you remember that yeah you're going to be fine i like everything and if this is the if this is a bad version of you then bravo i like it it's all good you should just try and relax get some more lem sips down your neck yeah. and we'll be good anything else you want to say no i think that's it i mean I know I'll be alright as long as I don't do <coughs> as long as I don't do something silly like I have done today. Yeah. Well let's go and um, practice how to use lane two to follow the road ahead. <coughs> I'm sure you, I'm sure we've been over it before, but it's worth it's worth doing that. And then uh, if you if if you mind somewhere else briefly, you think, oh god, I'm in the wrong lane. Well you're not in the wrong lane. We'll just have a different protocol for dealing with that. All right. Yeah. Does it sound all right? Yeah, good. Guys, hope you got something from it today. Uh, please, as usual, uh, comment and leave all your comments down there. Remember to subscribe as well. It really does help the channel out a little bit. Uh, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye for now.